back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary, but you can call me Z. If you're not new, what's up? Welcome back. And I'm back with another video. You click on this video for a reason. If you want to see how I did this beautiful. Hold on. Slide it out. If you want to know how I did this beautiful hair clip, easy peasy slip back ponytail, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. You can notify every time your girl uploads a video. And yeah, let's get into it. I kind of owe you guys a video, so y'all already read the title, y'all see my hair. Today, I'm finally doing my famous slick back tutorial. So, the reason why I decided to film this video is because I posted a TikTok the other day. If you haven't already, go follow me on TikTok. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna be breathing, hold on. I posted a TikTok the other day about basically like a little haul that I did. Not really a haul, but like a little vlog that I did. I went out to the mall, got my ears pierced, blah, 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 blah. And then somebody commented and was like, oh, can I see your ear up close? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So I posted a video, replied to the comment, me and my new piercing. And everybody in the comments is like, oh, hair tutorial, hair tutorial. And then it's like, it's not that many, but it's it's a few of them in there. But even outside of the video, so many people have asked me to do like a tutorial on how I do my hair and all sorts of kind of stuff. And this is very black girl friendly because y'all... I get so many compliments on how nice my hair is and stuff like that. Like, y'all, I appreciate the comments, but this is a piece of work. So, let's just get straight into the video. I know I haven't been... Yeah. Y'all seen from the last video, your girl caught COVID. And then my room flooded. And then I had to move. Like, it's just been a lot going on on top of, like, midterms. It's just It was just a lot going on, but... I'm on spring break now and it's kind of like now I have no choice but to film a video. It's kind of like, what's your excuse? So let's just get into this video. Everything that I have, like all my hair products, you can get from your local beauty supply store. I use nothing here is like super extravagant, anything like that. So those who are watching and doing their hair with me, you are going to need whatever gel you use. So I use, don't judge me, I use this um, Argan Oil Eco Styler and I also use the Myel edge what is it called edge gel i don't know if you can see there we go i use that on my edges and then you're gonna need for um, black girls not just black girls but if your hair is thick you know what's up i have two different detangular brushes and two different hair brushes and then all like the curly hair products to make the ponytail curly in the back okay i'm probably gonna need to take these off but i have a mirror right here so if i'm looking you feel me but your girl's blind so before i start my slick back usually i take a spray bottle with usually some water and whatever curly hair products that i use wet the hair as well as like moisturizing it all that kind of stuff okay so i just drench my hair especially the part that's like this part right here y'all can see my hair was already done but it's not done anymore so i just wet everything So everything is wet now and then I take this Lotta Body leave-in conditioner and this helps with like brushing out and detangling all the curls. I spray this everywhere and then I take my broken I think this is like a denim brush or whatever you want to call it and I just brush the hair out like this but I do it by section just to detangle all the curls out. Urgh. Some of this stuff may not be at your local beauty supply, but those items I can link below. Um, only probably like one item won't be at your local beauty supply. I'm not sure if it's in beauty supply stores yet, but I know they have it at like Ulta. So. Maybe even, no, I think it should be held. But anyways, I'm going in and I am brushing and, whoop, I am brushing and detangling this side of my hair. Hold on, let's get into the curls though. Get into the curls. Yes. You see. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm just detangling everything. And then wherever I feel like it's a little bit dry, 
I'll just go back in with the leave-in conditioner. But right now, this side seems pretty good. So you can see the difference, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this again. And I'm just going to do the same thing that I did to the other side. And just don't judge the straight pieces, okay? We all had heat damage before. We all know what it looked like. We all know the feeling. Keep your opinions to yourself. Thank you. All right. So I'm going in. As you can see, just to tangle in wherever I can. And especially in the back because that's where, like, my best curls are, are in the back. So I try my best to get back in the back real good. Alright, so now the hair is all detangled and I look like a little five-year-old girl. Okay, now I go in with some moisturizer. So this is the Suave Professionals um, Natural Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Oil that I'm using. It's not a lot left, so I don't know why I slept on this, but I bought it a while ago and I was like, this isn't going to work. But it does, y'all. This stuff is good. Okay, this stuff is good. All right. So once that's in, then you're gonna take your comb and wherever you decide to have your part, you can have it in the middle to the side. I usually do middle, but I'm debating if I want to do a side part only because I always do middle, but I think I'm just stick with the middle. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and make that middle part. Got the middle part going here. And I try my best to make it as clean as possible. Because then I'll make your hair like... It'll give you more of like the clean look. When your part is clean. I guess. This ain't even straight. Why don't y'all... Y'all want to tell me it wasn't straight. Alright, there we go. Alright, so... Alright, so there's the part. And now... I'm going to section my hair off into halves. So I'm going to take the back half like that you see it don't gotta be a straight part just as long as you got the front half and the back half now i do this because of how thick my hair is and i know that if i just try to slap some gel on and throw in a ponytail it's not gonna lay flat the way that i want it to so i do this and then i take my detangler brush and i brush the ponytail out because you know sometimes it gets a little nappy and just go in the ponytail and we don't want that because we want our ponytail as smooth and as laid we can have it all right so we're going to take a scrunchie and put this half in a ponytail not like a real tight one just you know something to keep it out the way and then we're going to take these two pieces because we're going to do the back first so we're going to take these pieces and put them in like some braids just so you won't you know mess up the flow with a ponytail see front two pieces are ready so now this part in the back I'm gonna take some of my coconut oil that I have here that I got from TJ Maxx and I'm gonna put some of it in my hands and I'm gonna put this on the back side of my hair this keeps the gel from flaking um it works for me i don't know who else this works for but right now i'm taking my regular you know regular schmegular regular black girl brush and just brushing the hair before i put the gel in just to put it in place of where i want it to be and then once again i take this hair tie and i put it on only wrap it around twice very very loose see very very loose not don't put it tight so now we're going to take our gel and i personally don't like to dig my hands in so i'm going to use my toothbrush my hairbrush and i'm going to put it in the gel and i'm going to put it on my hands now for slick backs you won't use a lot of gel i don't care what nobody say there's no way you're going to lay your hair down if your hair is as thick as mine with this much gel and expect it to be slick there's no way so keep your judgment to yourself you do your ponytail how you do yours and i do mine how i do mine so I'm going to rub it together as if it was lotion. And I'm just going to rub it everywhere on the back side of the hair. You feel me? Like it's lotion. 
Then, I'm gonna take, I guess you can say this brush has different bristles than this brush. And that's why I kind of like, this one's harder than this one. So I use this one more so to smooth. I use this one to like grip. So we're gonna go in with my gripping brush. And I'm gonna brush it all into place. Alright, and that hair tie, let me turn it off to the side. This hair tie that's in, I'm gonna take it out just so I can make sure everything is brushed all the way. Like so. And then we're gonna put this piece of hair back into the hair tie. And I wrap around like three times. Because you're going to take it out again. But that's so you know. That back part of the ponytail is already slick. Okay. So now. Going in with the side parts. Usually I take some gel down the middle of my part. Just to be sure that it's clean. And just to slick down the roots, because sometimes my roots be uh, puffing up. So we're going to take some gel. we just going to clean up the part. You know how braiders be doing. Just to see. Alright. So, I'm going to take do the same method I did with the back part. Put some gel on the, the toothbrush and then put it on my hands. And I'm going to rub it flat on the hair now when it comes to the front I do one side at a time just because if you try to do both that mug one's gonna be slick the other one not gonna be slick so when I brush the sides I brush down and slightly curve like that you see like a down and a swoop that's how I brush my side and I brush into as if it's going into the ponytail in the back just to place it so the hair knows where it's going. You feel me? Like that. And then I'm going to take this hair tie out in the back. It's going to make the hair move. But what you're going to do is take your brush and just brush it into place. Oops, sorry plant. There you go. Then you're going to put this back in the ponytail, wrap around like three times, and you're going to do it again to the other side. Beyonce, tell me all about the things that you were fantasize. I know you dig the women, step the women, make me try. Follow your feeling, baby girl, because they cannot Now, once you're done with both sides, when you're brushing your hair into the place, make sure you're putting your ponytail in the center, kind of, of your head. That way, when you clip it, you know, it will have like a little, you know what I'm talking about. And this time we're gonna do it however tight you like your ponytail. And I know me, I like mine tight to know that that leg not gonna move. You feel me? So I wrap mine around maybe a good four or five times and then I tighten it like that. Okay? Now I'm gonna have to take my glasses off. I can't see, so don't judge me. So now it's time for everybody's favorite part. We're gonna take out the edges. So I'm going to use my comb here and take out my edges. Now, I know most girls like real dramatic edges and stuff like that. That's never been a thing for me. Like, I like clean, natural baby hair. So, you know. The most I would do is what was on the TikTok, like literally. So I'm just taking out the baby hair. Yeah, I'll see when I swoop it. So I also have a little bit of gel on this toothbrush to brush down the part that's not being, you know, swooped. Just to make sure it's in place. And y'all know I like my little sideburns on the side. So we're going to brush all of this down. Yup. Make sure everything is gripped. Yeah. 
and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side once you lay this out you'll see where you know your baby hair is at me personally i like to have a clean look on my slick backs and then i'll take out the extra hairs that's you know out of place they usually baby hair anyway y'all see okay we're gonna do the same to the other side so brush it out and take out the little hairs that are not in line Now, I don't know if y'all can see, like, right here, you can see my roots are coming up. We're going to take a little bit of gel on this toothbrush and brush them bad boys down, okay? Now, before we're doing my edges, I like to go over my hair again just to be sure everything is slicked. I like my ponytails to be clean, and I don't like, you know, bumps and railroad tracks and all of that. Uh-uh. Y'all know how when y'all was little and y'all had them bollies and then your mind have it so tight it like you got little valleys in it. Uh-uh, we won't do that. So, we're going to just brush and then I'm going to just fix my hair tie to make sure everything is clean. So, this part is really optional. Depends on how you like your hair and how you like your ponytail. So, I like mine clean. And I like mine slick, and I like it to look like, you know, it took some time, because it does. But I also want it to like that magazine type look, you know what I'm saying? And for those who have really thick, really thick hair, I would suggest, like, when it comes to slicking the hair down, do it in sections. And the more sections you do, the better the chances your hair will be slick the way you want it to be. But my hair, I had to train it to slick like this. So, hold on, I need another time. So yeah, I trained my hair to slick the way it does. Because at first, y'all should have seen my first couple slick backs, man. It was terrible. Like I had a big old mountain on my head. We're back in action. So, like I was saying, I don't even know what I was talking about. But anyways, so the next step that I do is I take my my L edge control. And I take this and I use this more so on like the baby hair and then like the edges. Just to be sure that it's slick. Because you can't have slick baby hair and not have slick edges. You feel know I me? Mean? So I dip this in a little bit and just... And I just brush it down and smooth it out. And I just make sure all the baby hairs are where they're supposed to be. Okay, I can't tell if this... Okay, that's my hair. I'm like, what the heck is that? Okay. Bruh. Are you kidding me? Y'all see that, right? Alright, y'all. I'm going in with a second hair tie. Only because the hair's not in place. Now it's in place. And I tighten it. Don't judge me. If I want my edges to fall out, let them fall out. Because at the end of the day, my slick backs be looking good. So, <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so now that that part is slick, I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hair. So, I like to do like a little swoop and then like a little swoop here and then like a little swoop. So, some parts of my edges I use the edge control and then some parts I use the gel. So, for like this middle part right here, I'm going to use the edge control. I'm going to dip it like this and brush them down first just to put them in place. You know how you got to brush and swoop? You hear that? Brush and swoop. Brush and swoop. So once they're in place, I like to go on with my comb just to make sure like the baby hair is actually, you know, not like train track looking. And then I push it into the slick back. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. 
I might make that a swoodle. Don't know yet, but usually I just push this into the slick bag. Because everybody do their hair here different. Mind your business. So now I'm going to take just a little bit of my Eco Styler for these two swoodles here. Because I like my baby hair to be even. Like swoop this one like this. Have like a little curl. Now for this one, sometimes I use a little bit of gel and um, eco, not gel, I mean eco, what? I use a little bit of uh, eco and edge control. I use the eco for the curl and then the edge control to put it down, you know what I mean? So... Hello? Hey. I didn't forget. Okay. Okay. I love you too. Okay. So, I'm gonna fix this little spoodle doop because this spoodle doop ain't spoodle dooping. Alright. I'm gonna let it be. Okay, so now that the hair is slicked, we're going to get into my favorite part, which is curling the ponytail. Alright, y'all, so my camera stopped for some reason, and I've already went ahead and did the back. So let me just refresh and tell you guys what I did. So basically, I went back, and the ponytail was dry by the time I finished, you know, the whole slick. So I went in with my spray bottle, and I drenched, like drenched the ponytail, okay? And then I did a little, I detangled it, whatever. I'm going to try to do another clip for that. I went in and just detangled the curls while it was wet. And then I went in again with my lot of body leave-in conditioner. And for my curly girls, curly girls, for my girls out there who love curly hair natural, you have curly hair natural, I stand by anything lot of body. Okay, this. It's not super expensive, but this stuff is good. Anything lot of body, literally anything. Yeah, so I went in with that, and then I also went in with my my L pomegranate and honey curl smoothie, and I think that's where we stopped. I also used some of my honey um, conditioner for coils. This is the product that I was talking about that you probably won't find at your beauty supply store. You may or may not, depending on where you live, but you can get this from Ulta and Marshalls, TJ Maxx, whatever. Um, this is also black on brand, and y'all, I'm going to just leave it there. Alright, so basically what I was doing before my camera disrespectfully cut off was going in and defining my curls with this same brush. I also have this other denim brush, but this one will be working as good as this one, so let's get into it. We're going to get close, real close. So, I'm just going in and defining the curls. And if there's ever a spot that's dry, I go in with the spray bottle. Because, like I said at the beginning, the wetter your hair is, the better your curls will look. I know y'all see that. Look at that. Just beautiful. Can't even see it. I know it's pretty. So I'm just brushing the curls. Y'all see, right? Y'all see the curls? Going in and making them look real pretty. Alright. And I try to like make sure like, oh shoot, hold on. I try to make sure like when I brush it, all the curls are not on like one side. And I try to do pieces, that way the curls are curly all over. I'll give you guys a 360 so you guys can see the back of what I'm talking about so here's the back of my ponytail and you guys can see 
some places may be curly, some places may need like a little bit more loving. Especially my top part, it gets really frizzy at the top. But for this style, you really don't need, um, I mean you do, but your natural hair pattern, I mean curl pattern. And if you can get something in it that look fancy, girl, do that. Because I'd definitely be, you know, giving it a little whoop de whoop -dee. Y'all see that? Yeah. Get a little whoop de whoop -dee. Look at that. Beautiful. For some pieces that, you know, just need a little bit more help. Alright, so once I finish the ponytail curl pattern part, I wait for it to dry a little bit. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys how I do my clip. So, this clip that I have here... This is what it looks like. I got it from Marshalls. It came in like a pack of three. And so I know like on TikTok when girls do like tutorials on how to do like the whole clip style, they don't put a hair tie. But because of my hair texture and how thick my hair is, if I try to fit all my hair in this clip, it's not going to work. So we're just going for the look, right? So you guys know I have a hair tie in my hair already. So what I'm going to do is, what you're going to do is, you're going to take your handy dandy clip here and I'm going to lift my hair from the bottom, lift it up like this and I'm going to kind of put it in like a, what you want to call it, like a, I'm going to put my fingers like this and hold the hair to give it like that type of position. I'm going to take the clip, you're just going to clip it in place and squeeze like so and sometimes it'll be too high for me and sometimes it'll be too low all depends on how you want your ponytail but this is what mine is looking like i'll probably lower it because and yes it's gonna have the little empty spots but we're going for the look okay we know there's a hair tie in it so here's what it looks like can you see can you take so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can notify every time I upload a video. I hope this video was helpful, y'all. I know it's kind of quick, but this is the basics of what I do with all my slick back ponytails. No matter what kind of style it is. If you want the little swoop de doo you just pull them out and just, you know. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and staying to the end. I love you and my advice today is continue to love yourself and put yourself first because this is 2022 and you deserve everything that you desire. Period. What? Because <sighs> that wraps up today's video. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Sincerely Z. Bye.